Welcome to Allie's Way Tarot, and you're watching the Cheese May Channel. Psychic medium readings done by Allie. Relax, subscribe, share to your friends. Let the magic begin. Hello, hello, guys, and welcome back to another reading. So today we're going to be doing celebrities, and so for the celebrity, I'm going to do Lori Harvey, and I forgot his name. Oh my God, let me see. It's Lori Harvey. Uh, Michael, what is it? He did the Wakanda movie and everything. Michael B. Jordan. I'm like, sorry. I had to think about that. Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan. Oh, sorry. So we're going to do some how did, how, well, first of all, I knew they weren't going to last because they're soulmates, but right now Lori's a little bit of a karmic to him. So she's turning into a karmic slow. See, Yes, you do choose when you reincarnate that you want to be a twin flame, a karmic, whatever. But you can also change in this life as free will. So I feel like she's turning into his faded karmic right, right now. They did have a past life of being soulmates, soulmates together. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I told you before, I tore my meniscus and so I'm doing it on my table. I'm not doing it on the bed today. Um, just try to see my my layout and how my body feels comfortable so you see my little um keyboard here to turn up and down the volume of when i need some sound you know i'm playing some music on my laptop to try to you know let me feel like i'm vibing out with someone because i'm here all by myself all by myself uh but yeah let's get into it i'm gonna get into his energy and her energy uh, there's no dice for that because I mean you don't need dice for that and then I'm gonna get into some text messages about like their connection so right now if Lori was to text Michael and Michael was to text Lori how would that look right that's kind of interesting so anyway let's pick a song for them to see their vibe so far I'm shuffling on camera today so loud just turn it down i'm sorry something that i wanted to say was that if you right now do my readings in the captions for some of you i actually have them in like i think six to nine different languages on purpose because i'm catering to my international fans um you know i'm really trying to get you guys to understand me hopefully the translation is right because i don't speak german and portuguese and stuff spanish i do uh, my twin is good at French, but as far as like Italian, I'm learning that. But French and Spanish is all I pretty much know. Um, sorry <laughs> if it says the things wrong and it doesn't say what, you know, it's not meant to say. I'm sorry. Um, oh, this came out. This was not supposed to be in the deck. It said in just a few days. So I guess there's going to be some more drama behind the scenes or even up front with them. Remember, guys, whatever I channel is in this current energy, but they do have free will. So if things change or things don't change, that's not my problem in a way. <laughs> as rude as it sounds, they have free will. I'm channeling today's vibe, but it, it doesn't mean that... Uh, you know, I was wrong. Just picked it up. That you didn't want to show you it. Oh wow! Look what you got in the car, babe. Toxic. So, baby, can't you see? I'm calling a guy like you should be wearing. Should be. Should be a what? A guy like you. Should wear a warning. It's dangerous. I'm falling. There's no escape. I can't wait. I hit. I need a hit baby give it to me so what happens is too high can't come down losing my head spinning around and around so what happened is they're they sex this is a sex-based relationship i do feel like he likes the fact that she's younger don't make me sound like he's a pedophile he's not but i've noticed the pattern that not all the time but older men do like younger girls it does make them feel alive um so you're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. So this is his energy. You know I want you so much. 
Yeah, I know that song. And then the, for both of them, their energy in the back of the deck is Celine Dion. My heart will go on. Wherever uh, you are, I believe that my heart does go on. What's this one say? It wants to come out. The best thing I never had. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> you know, Beyonce, what goes around, comes around. That, um, this is getting juicy. My God. I knew that tea were going to be spilt, but I didn't know it was going to be spilt like that. They have a bitter breakup. So this is like... To tell you the truth, I feel like Lori left his app. I shouldn't say that. That's not nice. Lori left him high and dry. And he was like blinded. I know that the headlines say that, oh, he was going to propose. Um, I do feel like kids was a topic. And she was like, yeah, okay, yeah. She brushed it off. And then like, he was like, okay, so she agrees with that. Which is her fault too. She should have never said, yeah, okay, to brush him off. She should have said, no, Michael, I don't want it. But she wanted to keep him around. It's not just for money and clout. She likes, a, um, Lori has father wounds. <laughs> There's just no way to other was to say it. Lori does have father wounds and uh, she doesn't like to feel alone. Even though she has biological siblings, she doesn't like to feel. I know Steve Harvey adopted her, but she does have a biological sibling. But um, she um, doesn't like to feel alone. That's what I feel. Like she doesn't like alone. So if Michael could give her attention, even if it's physical, she'll take it. Because it's attention. And that's why she messes around with Trey songs. And that's why she's messing around with somebody else. And, you know, it's not going to be her first go around. I honestly, even though she's my age group, I think she's a little bit younger than me. Um... She's not going to stop till she's like at least 31, 32. If she stops, it's because a baby grounded her. And her spirit team is intervening. But I don't see her settling anytime soon. It just, it makes her upset. Like this is literally like, you know, those dudes. And I know I may have some fellas that watch me. I'm not referring to you if you're not like that. If, if the shoe fits, let it wear it, okay? <laughs> it's like West Indian song. If the shoe fits, let them wear it. So if it doesn't fit to you then it don't fit to you but there's some men that when a woman wants the man to ground himself and be with her he plays and he plays this is Lori. she's like the female <laughs> yeah like the memes have said on insta she's the female um the female future she really truly doesn't like to settle like she could really live a life like nick cannon and have like nine kids but somehow i feel like being in her father's limelight it forces her to be this conservative woman because Steve is a man that gave lots of women advice. He was teaching fellas on how to elevate. He's a very inspirational, motivational speaker, right? So when you have someone like that and they can't even control their household, meanwhile, he doesn't have to do anything. This is his stepchild, okay? So he could raise her, but that's, that's not his child. So a lot of people may, oh my God, Steve Harvey, D listen, he didn't change her diapers and he surely didn't lay down and make her. So he's not really responsible. If him and the mother break up today, as much as he may respect the children that he adopted mentally and emotionally, that's biologically not his business. He don't have to do a thing. Okay. A lot of women do that where they're like, oh, the husband's now like, call him daddy. No. I don't agree with that because that's not the father. You have to hold, to keep that energy for the father that actually laid down and did that with you, okay? Um, yes, the stuff, sometimes stepfathers are really the bomb.com. I've seen it in my own family. You know, I've had my mom who has had, had boyfriends in the past that took better care of me than my own father. Um, but it's not their job. And so if they ever want to step down to hold them accountable for something that they didn't lay down and do or make, that's unfair to them, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so it, it, it would be unfair to blame Steve 100%, even though he did see her from a young childhood age. Um, Lori's father is in prison, for those that don't know. He did do drugs back in the day and a whole bunch of other stuff. Marjorie is not no peach. She's not the Michelle Obama that everyone thinks. Marjorie did have a pass. She actually met Steve, I feel like, at a club or a bar at a stand-up. So, and she knew night one that she'd be with him. Like, Marjorie is not all of that. So, of course, don't forget. I always say, before I channel, kids, you know, if you don't want you to see your mirror, don't have kids. 
children will mirror you uh, like a good 80% of the time. They will mirror what you or the father is doing. You, you could really think you're the sweetest person and then your kids will like pop out of patterns and behaviors and you're like, where did I learn that from? You. <laughs> you just didn't see the behavior that you looked on the outside. But your kid is your legit reflection. And so she's reflecting her mother. Like what we don't see when Steve Harvey morning show is done and the Steve Harvey show that came off the air. Lori is the exact representation of Marjorie literally let's get into the tarot i have to like say that because like i know a lot of people love marjorie and i do too i think she dresses classy she's a beautiful person she's one person that doesn't show her her you know toxic traits to the world she knows how to dress the part and she doesn't need to show you that she acts ratchet at times which is to me class one-on-one -on -one. you can't be a hundred percent a porcelain doll all, all the time and she's a good representation of that but she does have toxic traits and marjorie and marjorie's daughter shows a good percent of that when it comes to lori's feelings this is how she feels so we do have burnt out even though there's a lot of love to give um funny how it's at the heart chakra which is the chest which is the breast but she does i think she did like him i'm not gonna say she just hit it and quit it yeah there he is right there funny how he literally looks like this right <laughs> oh my god um and strength i do feel like he was a little bit controlling this i can testify um i don't know for a lot of you people watching but my divine masculine is five years to me which does cause a lot of fights <laughs> um because older p connections i'm not saying just men women do it too um when the partner is younger they tend to have been there done that where Michael was more like, I was already there. I already did that. I was in that um, magazine cover. I was already doing that photo shoot. So you need to pose a certain way because they want it this way. Um, this actually happened to Johnny Depp and Amber Heard where um, he's older. So when she was starting off her career, he was like, you need to wear that and you need to do this because they were looking for that. They're looking for this. And she was like, Johnny, let me fail. <laughs> you're controlling me no he's not he love he want, he loves you he wants the best for you but he's been there and he's done that he's experienced fame before her so he knows what they're looking for and he wants to not let her fail in a way he wants to fast track her into um stardom into the best of the best and it comes off to a younger person controlling i know even in an everyday mindset like i said for my divine obviously we're not on a red carpet right now but if i would act a certain way he'd be like why are you behaving like that it's immature it's childish i'm above that and i'm like yeah you're above that because you were my age once let me act my age and then he's like wait a minute i remember you're younger than me okay sorry you have to learn on your own how to experience life and so this is what's happening with Michael, where he was like, Mar um, <laughs> Marjorie, her mom, uh, Lori, you have to pose a certain way. You have to promote it this certain way. You have to dress this way and, and clean this way and cook that food. And she's like, can you chill? This is too much for me. I'm too young to act like a wife and the mother of a child when I don't have that. I want to play. I want to have fun. I want the parts of our relationship that entails a bikini and good sex and fruits on the beach. I don't want to cook and clean all the time. I just don't. I don't want to go to bed at 9 o'clock and watch Jeopardy with you and put on socks and rub up with Vicks. Like, I can't do this. And he's older, so he's like, let's go to bed and enjoy quiet time and be mindful and peaceful. That is Michael's energy. Let's be mindful and peaceful. And she's like, screw that. 9 o'clock, I'm going to a club. You know, um, I am a young person that believes like Michael, where... I feel like if he wants to go younger, he should find someone similar to my patterns, introverted patterns, where it's like uh, nine o'clock being home is wonderful for you because Lori's personality is very extroverted. And so, yeah, she's hitting the clubs on Friday night. She's not staying home all the time. The only way to catch her doing that is on her period. And even then she'll pop a doll or an Advil and keep going because she wants to live her best to the best life. And he's like, I've been there. I've done that. Um, drinking a Don Julio means nothing to me. She's like, this is everything to me. So let's see his feelings. Um, let's see. How does Michael B. Jordan's feelings towards Lori? His current moment. I do feel like he did lose this relationship 
um when i obviously they're broken up but i'm saying like when i say loss i mean like look okay a card came out again <laughs> the same exact way um when i say loss i mean like he emotionally feels shattered for some of you that watch charlie pooth look he's right there again oh my god the same exact card isn't that funny um charlie pooth was like he sang that song you took a, a way a year of my effing life and i can't get it back no more <laughs> so when i see those tears coming out your eyes i hope it's me you're it's there for he's on charlie pooth's page where he's like you didn't love me that's hilarious you can't be serious uh fool and tower didn't i say he felt fuck messed up oh my language uh this is how she left him and let's see the back of that full circle like she just left my brother like you see she doesn't want to be bothered love to give he has a lot of love to give he saw her as someone who was independent the queen but he also knew her toxic trait was the fool very reckless very you know like i said she don't want to be tied down she want to go out to the party she wants to see everyone she wants to meet new people and new adventures and endeavors she's young she has that right and he's tired he wants to go home and rest uh so that was the tower of their relationship they simply were not compatible long term when it comes to sex and it comes to fun they look good you know they were the good looking couple where look at his jaw structure and his body look at her body she's everything but yeah emotionally they're cut off from one another i can even get some oracle too let's see a little bit of oracle but i don't i don't know i don't feel like he if she gives him another chance he's so toxic to himself he would literally go and do it like, but why? You know, like, even I have to ask him energetically, like, why would you do that? Because you know she's not the one for you. And there you go. You're still doing it. He has to. He feels like he needs to seek that opportunity. Let's see. That's the energy for Michael B. Jordan. Currently, all the cards are falling on the floor and I cannot pick them up. Soul Tribe. So, it was a part of his lesson receptive i feel like he needed to learn that lesson he does feel like they're twin flames but i don't feel that they are i don't i'd be lying um detached so right now michael is detached from the situation i feel like that's just the easy way for him to cope here we go again isolated and i believe earlier in the deck we had right here the hermit card so we have isolated and the hermit card he does not want to be in the public eye michael has a lot of projects and movies coming out and actually he's resenting filming them <laughs> stillness abundance and the last card we have is love right here and the last card is telepathy so obviously he i don't think he knows about the 5d and how to do twin flame work but we have right here telepathy i do feel like he does look at her pictures and stare at her not realizing that his soul is telepathy in her he does miss her he loves playback i'm seeing him play back um on his cell phone for those my iphone users i don't know if galaxy does it because it's been a minute since i had a galaxy but um where you can watch live live videos he's watching back her live videos um let's see what does lori feel he misses her he's taking this hard this is a tower moment for michael i also saw the type the um remember we saw the tower just now and i said that was the tower was her toxic addictions to not committing um that's also he also feels like that's a tower moment because he lost his wife he really does feel connected to her um this was past life energy i feel like he's chasing her he has to clear that out with her toxic addictions that's Lori. look hopelessness it's funny because her jaw structure is just like that move that over a little bit mission work yeah that was their soul agreement i literally just said that guilt wounds so see this child then i say she has daddy wounds feels sorry uses guilt to manipulate afraid to set boundaries she misses her father even though steve gives her a lot needy look i said it i'm not making this up folks secrets yeah she's got secrets she does, that, that is one of the secrets that she misses her actual dad but steve gives her so much intimacy that's what she loves she craves that and reconciliation she wants him back because he has the best ever you know what then i say the only way she's going to be grounded is through this 
and what came up in the back of the deck. Like, come on. Like, what? Look, let's, let's do this like this so you can see. Spirit animal. So her spirit baby is going through a spirit animal. She does not have a lot of love to give right now. Like, she just, everything's down for her. You notice this? It's crazy. Abundance. Down. Stillness. She's down. Like, she's so restless. It's crazy. It, it's actually very sad to watch. Because she's so young and she's so pretty. but And she has a lot of potential, but, you know... I feel like, I know she has a skincare line. I don't even know if it's makeup. Is it makeup or skincare? I saw one time she was on like a um, a YouTube video. Was it GQ or something like that? And she um, was promoting it. I think it was skincare. Let's see what she would say. All right, let's put the deck. This blue is going to be for Michael. And this black and purple is going to be for Lord. Okay, spirit team, what do we got to say to so Lori at this current moment? What does Lori want to say to Michael? What does Lori want to say to Michael? Let's pick this one up right here. I will always love you. If you came back, I would give you another chance. Oh, my God. Didn't I say she wants another chance? Oh, the, some of his cards flew out. He doesn't even want to wait. I think of you often. I still can feel you. Michael, this neediness, brother. I'm gonna, I heard four, so I'm going to pull four for each. I'm actually going to give him five because it was unintentionally in the deck. He really wants to talk about this. He loves her. Like, he's gut heartbroken. No joke. I accept you the way you are. You do not need to come up with my expectations. But he wants, he's so, he's people pleasing. Sometimes we make things harder than they need to be. I'm open and approachable. How are you? So she's willing to talk back to him. She knows that she left him in the wrong way. Um, I sometimes regret, look, didn't I tell you? I sometimes regret having told you how I feel about you. I should have hidden my feelings from you. She does feel like she was the Maleficent in his world. And so coming in his life shook him up in the wrong way. She doesn't even know she actually had to do this. This was a part of his soul contract. The back of the deck says that I hope if and when reconcile, we reconcile, we can do things differently in a better and healthy and happy way. But right now, she's not emotionally or mentally ready to give her heart to someone. She's just not. Um, and it's okay. She will grow on her own time. Uh, let's see. What does Michael want to say? Poor Michael. He's like so sad. I just feel the depression cloud over him. For some of you who watched Encanto, the Disney movie, if you've seen Peppa, the cloud over her. Oh, Michael. Don't fall, brother. <laughs> uh, this is the real thing. I know. Oh, my God, Michael. This is so sad. This is sad. This breaks my heart. Um, I didn't think I could be what you needed or wanted me to be. So she just said, you don't have to be my expectation. And literally, he's just trying again. I see one of the cards, the Twin Flame Union cards that want to come out. And she wants to speak again too. It's funny because I cleared this deck out. Okay, whatever. She's coming back to him. I long for you and I still sometimes, sometimes still cry over you. Over the loss of you. Was there even an us or was it my imagination? Yeah, so she does regret it. One more for Michael. Poor guy. It says, I'm waiting for the right time. Michael, there's not going to be a right time. Oh, she has something to... They're, they're going back at it. What? I have fantasies about you. Maybe they're better left in space. So you see what she's doing? She, like, interrupted his reading. I cleared out this card deck. So she interrupted his reading to talk about how she wants to have sex with him again. But she somehow feels remorseful. She has toxic traits, as we saw in the cards. And I realized I was selfish. I feel ashamed of that. Like, he's blaming himself. He, too, has guilt wounds. I'm actually quite surprised that didn't come out. Because... Why are you blaming yourself if she wants to hit it? Like, come on. Don't blame yourself for something like that. It's not your fault. Um, what else I want to get into? Text messages. Ooh, that'll be fun. This is fun. I think he's blaming himself for how he she treated him. I feel like really... Even though Michael's really sexy and machisto, he's all teddy bear. Like, let's go. Let's go into this one. Let's see. Let's clear it out some more. Let me clear it out. Clear. All right. Let's clear it out. Okay. Two want to fall out. Let's take the two. 
Michael said, you deserve to be treated better. Like, but he did give her everything. I don't know why he's saying that. We always find our way back together. He swears up and down that he is her twin flame. He, energetically, he really, really does. Okay. But that's not the case. We've got a card that needs flipping. Okay. Why are they flipping out on their own? Come on, guys. What? No, it's me. Michael's ready to talk, so he's literally flipping my card. Okay. Another song. We Belong Together. <laughs> How is my stuff getting mixed up? Okay. Michael, I don't know what to say, buddy. Whichever one wants to flip out, we'll take it. I'm flipping them on back because, I don't know. This is what Spirit does. They flip my stuff. He said, I've matured so much. Let me show you. Um, I should have spent more time listening to you about the whole control thing. Yeah. Um, let's say we were too young. No, I don't think he was too young. Oh my. Let's see what does Lori want to say. Let me clear it. Oh. Well, being with you taught me a lot. That's one. Clear. I like to slap the deck and take out the energy. Because sometimes there is high energy in there. Let's see. Lori. Lori wants to say a lot. That's a lot of cards. Okay. It hurts seeing you love someone else. Uh, hurts seeing you love someone else. I'm not ready now, but it's too late. You're gone. You see, I said it. She's not ready. Didn't I say that? You left me broke. I don't think he left her broke. I think he left her thinking. I regret being unfaithful. Now I know how it feels. Wow. So I guess she's in another connection and nobody knows. Headlines will find out eventually because um, she is famous. Um, and so he's cheating on her and she regrets the way that Michael. Wow. That is something. Okay, let's see what they're going to say together. I'm going to pull one more deck and then we're going to sign off. You guys, it was so fun hanging with you. Thank you so much. Me and my knee. <laughs> um, all right, let's get into this deck right here. It's called the Twin Flame Mirror since he swears up and down their twin flames. Uh, let's use the Twin Flame Mirror. What is? What do they have to say together as like a closeout? Their closing statement. You know how those couples, those celebs, hey, the, don't fall. You know those couples or celebs that have like those closing out statements? And they're like, we were together for 12 years and we love you fans. Right, let's see if they're saying something like this. Close out together. Energetically one last time, but we have to stay together. I regret the the way I regret the way we left things, so they both do. He wished that she had said a proper goodbye, and she wishes that she didn't leave so high and dry. And they both said, "I can hear you even in the silence." Well, I mean, of course, his movies are kind of hard to avoid, um, and her stepfather is hard to avoid. I have family and work obligations, and one more. I'm healing in the silence. They both had that solitude and that isolation, so that does make good sense that they both said that one more in the back i feel heartbroken okay so i think we're done here um yeah thank you so much guys for rocking out with me and i hope that you enjoyed the reading uh it was fun channeling them i knew that there was going to be tea but i didn't know it was going to be that much <laughs> so thank you so much guys and i appreciate you like subscribe 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 because when you subscribe it helps me um, and the channel and stay join the family and I appreciate you so much and I'll see you in the next one bye guys thank you for subscribing to Allie's Way Tarot readings done by Allie I appreciated you guys and the cheese mate on our cheese mate channel don't forget to click the bell notification on YouTube right here for more content and all readings don't forget to subscribe and like and share to my TikTok and Instagram at Ali's Way Tarot, the same way it's spelled on YouTube. For readings, merchandise, oracle cards, and candles, don't forget to go to directme slash Ali's Way Tarot 
and Shopify for more. See you in the next one, Lavender Loves.